My name is Lisa Lofgren. I am an artist here in Bloomington, Illinois. I have a little print shop at Come Together Space that I call Together Press. And behind me are images, are pieces, not images, from the series The Quickening that I produced, um, made in, in my studio in uh, July of 2016 of this year. The Quickening, the body of work uh, on display here at MCAC, came about um, through an interesting experience that is very common to probably a lot of, of artists where uh, I am about, I am currently pregnant and about midway through my pregnancy was having a bit of a crisis, dramatic crisis, uh, whether I would be an artist anymore. And to overcome that, I had a really great opportunity just to have a show. And that forced me to get back into my studio and prove to myself, and uh, which thankfully has happened, that I can be an artist. I can accommodate for this idea of having a totally different new schedule. And I produced 17 works, 12 by 12 in size, about the size of a belly, uh, that all talk about this experience I'm having of rethinking and transitioning into the idea of being a mother, being a working artist and mother, and um, uh, all of this symbolic nature that goes along with these thoughts and, and inspirations that I was uh, reading about and thinking about at that time. And, uh, and referring directly to the moment, the quickening, when uh, the baby is felt. The baby moves, the baby does something that is distinctly not a burp or some other body motion. It's another being inside of myself. So I, um, I'm very pleased to be able to share uh, the outcome of 12 of those works in the sales gallery at McLean County Arts Center. The imagery within these 12 by 12 frames combines several different aspects of, uh, of points of view of my life at that moment. Uh, the base of them all start with the same layer of three screens that are a abstraction of a kimono um, trailing down the body. And uh, those were screen printed in different colors uh, uh, one on top of the other uh, in Murfreesboro, Tennessee with a, a collaborative work from a bunch of different students who were able to assist me in doing a large number of works in a short amount of time. And that gave me this really great basis then to be able to take all of these uh, different colored but similar pieces and run with them to become individuals. So to do that I added collage elements, uh, recognizable and maybe some that are not so recognizable. I painted on them, I tried different kinds of glues and materials to see how they would um, adhere and uh, respond to the uh, screen printed element. And um, what I found was um, that I was starting to really incorporate a lot of different kinds of language. And studying at that point, I'm still, still on those lines, but uh, waning a little bit more, studying Japanese and the, um, some symbols and um, uh, just these repetitive kind of habits of thinking about um, learning a new language came into play visually as well as with my um, with speaking. So I started using those, making notes to myself of days of the week, of time passing, of little, little bits to help jog my memory as well as give me source of, of, of imagery. So a lot of the painted elements that are distinctly um, acrylic or gouache uh, add a bit of um, this language. So you'll see in the uh, title of each piece a reference to perhaps a day of the week or um, how that day of the week corresponds to an earthly element 
and then the symbol that's attached to that and then using that in a repetitive nature to kind of um, abstract it even more or make it something that blends into the image as opposed to just being a symbol of itself. For example, uh, one of the pieces is, uh, they're all titled The Quickening, but I'm, I'm incorporating notes at the bottom or into the, the works as titles. So um, all of these little thoughts that were generated during the making of them also went into explaining the piece a little further. Uh, one, uh, passing through uh, trains, coming and going, uh, this piece is based after something more earthly, something more concrete. It has these pillars at the bottom with this symbol, the yobi, at the, uh, above each pillar that describes this earthly element of Saturday, of soil, of something very grounding. And um, all of these kind of thoughts then play together to me to start talking about all of these different elements of of thinking about oneself and thinking about the state of, I don't even want to call it the state, but the identity of being a mom. And uh, all of the imagery then kind of correlates to this, this broader notion then of what, um, what those elements could be seen as um, in light of the mother in expression of um, bearing a child, of caring, of being a container. And um, many of them, uh, I, I, to me, are a little more are literal than others. Uh, seeing something that looks like a pregnant form, something that has a smaller element of itself next to a bigger element, um, and these other things that are more abstractions, like these twisting knots of what I'd call little souls or little beings uh, coming into play in, in the scene. Um, several things came about um, after making the work, and, and of course you sit and think, what, what do I want someone, what would be an ideal situation for someone to leave uh, the gallery thinking or feeling? And with each piece, I, I was really focusing on an idea of an intimate view of a little piece of, of a moment of mine that could hopefully be shared, not just with the feminine um, aspects of being, being able to carry a child, but with, beyond that, anyone that comes through here being able to relate to, uh, I pulled in, um, other artists to reference. I pulled in other moments of, of, as I talked about, language. And I hope that um, someone leaves with that kind of connection to uh, that, that feeling of, of uh, giving life, giving, uh, being a part of something bigger than yourself, greater than yourself. That just, that's not just motherhood, but that is um, uh, a little bit more, i use the word universal. And um, for myself, uh, it, it was uh, a great mark in a transition of mindset to be able to say, um, I can be still who I am, still what I want to do, um, and, and be a normal functioning mother, whatever that means. <laughs> and um, I, so on that level, I hope that a lot of the women that come through here also connect in, in a way that um, uh, could respond to the idea of, of being able to have that capacity to uh, shed light on, on all of this imagery that comes from, from thinking of motherhood. <laughs>